guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, great to see you here again today. Now you know when you buy a new little plasma cutter and they give you a special cord and they say that it's got to run on 15 amp or whatever, mine has to run on 15 amp and the normal um, house supply is like 10 amp so I had to get a special plug put on my workshop, you know, to plug the thing in. But I want to know if that's true or it's not true. So today I'm going to run my plasma cutter on a 10 amp circuit, on a normal household circuit, plugged into an extension lead. Let's see if we can set something on fire or something, eh, guys? <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and as long as I don't set myself on fire, we'll see you soon. So this is where I plug the extension cord into, guys. It's just your standard 10 amp uh, house socket, basically. So here's the plug I had specially wired in, guys, and you can see here, see it's got the bigger ends on the uh, socket that you plug into it. It looks identical to the uh, other one, but it's not because it has uh, got really big, big sort of um, prongs on the thing. So this is the 15 amp one here. So this is what I normally run my gear on. So we'll try it on the other one and uh, see how we go. Now because that plug is a bigger plug and it won't fit into a normal extension cord anyway, I've made an adapter. So uh, I'll uh, just use my adapter that I made. It's pretty crude, but it works. So what I've done here, guys, is I've married up a normal plug on the end of my... Uh, plug for my plasma cutter so what I've basically done is gone from this uh, 15 amp plug here to a 10 amp plug here so I've just uh, made it and wrapped some tape around it so I don't get electrocuted while I'm doing it so what I've basically done is drop the uh, the amperage by uh, 5 amps that this thing can draw so we'll see what happens guys yeah, so here's my extension cord here's my adapter that I made and here's the plug for my plasma cutter so right so now we're running my plasma cutter on a 10 amp circuit Anyway, let's see if it'll cut. So I've got my plasma cutter running at 40 amp, flat out, and I'm going to plug the smaller lead into it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can cut this sucker, guys. This doesn't have the power, guys. The of that extension cord starting to heat up. Anyway, I'll just see if I can uh, do a close up on that and we'll see what happens. Can you see a little bit of smoke coming off that cord, guys? Not a lot, but if you look real carefully, you can see it. It's just heating up something wicked, eh? So I decided to put my gloves on, guys, before I burn myself anymore, because you know, I'm friggin' idiot Pete, you know how it is. Anyway, so we've got um, this sucker here that didn't cut very well, obviously, on the extension cord. And I can still smell burning plastic in here for some reason. So that there's a horrible cut there. So what I've done is I've just gone and plugged it into my normal power supply. And uh, we'll see if it cuts any better. So we'll cut them next to that cut, eh? And we'll see if it cuts any better. Get this crap off here first. And then we'll know the truth about power supplies. Whether you actually need the bigger plug or whatever you need, guys. Anyway... Yeah, let's get into this. I don't like using these sort of big gloves on them, really hard to use. Anyway, it's gonna go. Lot faster, got a lot more grunt, guys. Oh, 
So what do we end up with that guys? Look at that. Yes siree. That's on the uh, full power plugged into my circuit and the other one, that other stupid thing here, that cut there is cutting it with an extension cord on a normal circuit. So there you go. Have I learned something today? Well the first thing I've learned is put your freaking gloves on Pete before you burn your hands. So the moral of the story guys is that's not bullshit when they say that you've got to have a bigger plug for your plasma cutter. You can't run it on a little domestic uh, power cord like this because you're going to get yourself in all sorts of bother as we found out. And I think you can actually get the, the heavier duty power cords but I think they're quite short just if you just need a, a little extension. I'll put some links down below if you want to see if you can find some of them. I'll have a look and if I can find some I'll put some links down below that you might just get you in, you know, another 10 or 12 foot. But I think that they have to be a lot, really a lot thicker than these so they don't catch fire. Anyway guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time, eh guys? Bye! So that wasn't really that successful guys, it's um, ow shit it's hot, ow Pete that is hot, but it, um, it's ugly as, yeah, look, look how much dross is on there, it's not even severing it completely, you know what I mean, it just doesn't seem to have the, doesn't seem to have the grunt, so uh, phew, I can smell plastic burning, Whew, might be that extension cord, let's have a look at that guys.